Hey guys, I'm back, and in the last part, I got the level B, well, C, B, and A missions in Casinoopolis and Ice Cap. Now, we're going to do Twinkle Park and Speed Highway. So, let's do it. Twinkle Park first, obviously. And, hopefully, these two won't be as bad. I think the only part that could really kill you when it comes to time is this section here because they could push you like there's no freaking tomorrow. But once you get out of here, it's really easy. But losing rings was not my intention. And I'm just gonna make this short and sweet. What the fuck? What was that? Um, okay? Apparently I could get to blown the fuck up with Metal Sonic. I don't know why. Um, that made no fucking sense. That's the first time in my entire time playing this game I've been blown up. I didn't even think that was possible. So let's just uh, avoid that now. That's new. Well, even... <laughs> I said it with Dynasty Warriors and I'll say it again here with Sonic Adventure. No matter how many times you play this game, apparently you learn a new thing every day. Despite how many times you played it. So, that's new for me. And uh, hopefully, that'll be the last of it. In the negatives. Because that was a negative. Well, when it comes to rings, I know I have enough. And... There you go. So I'm just gonna go through it like I'm going for A emblem, even though when it comes to Metal Sonic, it's not an A emblem. So, yeah, anyway. So what you gotta do here, if you're going for the A emblem, is... Well, okay, now I can't. So I have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'll do it next time. And they have these gimmicks with the... Uh, Bowling pins, if you bowl a strike, then you can get a shit ton of uh, rings. But I don't have a magnet shield, so that's not going to help me out at all. And I'm not going for rings, so... I don't need rings, so I could skip that section. Anyway, here's the part that I'm trying to get to. Right here. You could skip all that and come right here. If you did it right, but I did not do it right. I know that much. And... Here's another part right here. And that little shortcut that I was going to show off, I think you might know what I'm talking about. But if I'm... If you don't, then I'll point it out later. But when it comes to the A emblem, that's something that you have to go for. That you need to make that shortcut. If you don't, then you're pretty much screwed. Because if I'm not mistaken, you only have three minutes to get to the capsule. And that includes the bumper car part. So, anyway, that's a win. We got the C emblem. Well, not emblem, but mission. And we have the B and A emblems now. Alright, so let's get the B mission taken care of. Which stage do you want to play?
and all you need to do is get 50 rings. So, it sounds easy enough. Oh, I actually gone through there without getting hit. That's a first for me. I didn't even think that was possible. Alright, so I crashed in those two cars and I didn't lose rings. So, that's fine by me. Sometimes you'll go ridiculously fast, and for some reason, you'll get hit head on, and you're faster than the other car, and you still lose the rings. Kind of weird, but. Eh. Game logic. And apparently, for what I, R. E. mentioned, not me, R. E., he thinks that this game is more glitched up than the GameCube version or the Dreamcast version. I mean, in the Dreamcast version, with the chow gun that he told me, you could pretty much chuck your chows off the edge if you're in the chow garden in the Mystic Ruins. And that sounds really kind of... That sounds fucked up, and that's fucked up right there. So now I gotta keep an eye on my rings. Alright, so hopefully I'll have 50 by the end of this. If not, then that's fine too. Oh, I'm three shy. One shy. I could have made it 50 even, but anyway. So when you get to this point here, when you get ejected out of the roller coaster, do not move forward, move to the side like this. And if you go back this way, you could actually land on a platform and skip the whole bowling section, which pretty much takes up a huge chunk of your time. And with my luck at the moment, I have one minute to get to the end, if I was going for the A emblem, but I'm not, so I'm still going to act like I am because I want to get this done very quickly. I mean, Sonic, Sonic games are meant to be done quickly, well, the old ones anyway. I mean, this one too, but... Depending on the task at hand, I mean, in the later games, they added the ranking system where you're, depending on the game or the mission, if you're just trying to complete the stage, then you have to get a certain amount of points to get the B and, well, it goes from E, then D rank, and then C, then B, and then A, and then I think they added it in Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic 06 S rank. And to get that perfect rank, you have to get either a set amount of points, or in some cases, well, in Sonic Adventure 2, uh, you have to have it beaten in a certain period of time. And, uh, yeah, so that's how it works with that. But if I ever get to SA2, I'll explain it more better, or if I decide to do it with a second person. I will pretty much ask Ari to do it with me again. But, uh, one of us will definitely explain it better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. The ranking system, oh man. That made things much harder for me. Anyway, we have to get the capsule in three minutes. Just like I said in the last one. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. So let's not get pushed to death. And those look like monkeys. Anyway. So, what we have to do here Basically, like I said, it's just a rush to it. Don't worry about rings. Don't worry about any of that. If you accidentally hit rings, that's not the worst thing in the world. Just get through this section very quickly. Because the faster you get it done, the much more... Well, the faster you get this part done, the more time you have in the second section. That There you go. Sounds much better. Yeah, I definitely need a second commentator. <laughs> anyway... You skip that because the ramps actually take too much time. That's just my opinion. I mean, it feels like it's going slow after you go up the ramp. And unfortunately, I lost all my rings again. Great. I did not want to lose my rings, but well, at least we're going for speed and not for rings. Anyway, we're almost there. I was doing that just for the hell of it, because I was bored. 
Whoa, that could have been really bad. And I have a minute 30 to get to the end. And like I said before, after you get off the roller coaster, you want to jump to the side. So keep your analog stick to the left or the right the entire time and you'll jump off. And for me, I'm going right. So there you go. If you don't move the analog stick, you'll jump downwards into the little pit. And yeah. Then you have to go through the whole bowling section, which takes up a lot of time. So anyway, I have a whole minute just to get there, and I should be okay. I mean, yeah, I should be fine. Don't worry about the rings up there, because if you hit those switches, rings will appear. Don't worry about that if you're trying to beat the time. And... Here we are. There you go, with 16 seconds to spare. That's a win. So, there you go. That's another stage down. Well, for all three level missions. And then, now we have five more to go. And the next one is going to be Speed Highway, which is pretty much Jekyll and Hyde for me. It could either be my best friend or it could be my worst enemy. Fortunately for me, when I got the A emblem with Ari, it was my best friend. Hopefully this time around it will stay the same. Um, yeah, because for the A emblem, you need to get this done in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And that's not a lot of time. It's not. And you need to get up on this part of the map to actually complete it. Well, you have a better chance up here. It's a great shortcut. And I'm just going to act like I'm going to try to beat it in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Because at the end of the day, practice makes perfect. That's how I go by it anyway. I mean, I'm doing pretty well. I'm on the helicopter in 51 seconds. Meanwhile, I usually get it done in 58 to a minute. And the rings are not really a big deal because I don't have to all I need to get is uh what's it called hey no now all I need to do is get uh, 50 rings but I actually hit a police car there so that's not gonna really help me out there uh, let's do this makes me go a little bit faster And if you keep on hitting stuff like that, that's going to waste time. That's going to waste a lot of time. Because time is very valuable in this stage. And if you run into shit like that, like it happened to me right there, then you're going to be pretty much fucked. Yeah, let's not do that. And I did it in 2 minutes and 24 seconds. So if I have gotten the... Well, if I was going for the level A mission, I would have done it with ease. So it's possible, and I'm going to try to beat that time. I know I can, it's just... Let's try it. <laughs> if I don't, that's fine. I've done it once, but I need to complete the emblem, not emblem, but mission in general. Because, like I said, they're not missions. 
Anyway, here we go again, and this time around, you need 50 rings at the end of it. So hopefully this time around, I won't lose my rings. And not die in the process. Because, uh, that's exactly what happened. Um, if you curl up in a little ball like that, you will have a better chance in getting flung off the course. So, I'm just... I'm taking huge risks here. Anyway, so let's try to get the 50. Well, we're at the 50, so let's try to maintain the 50. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing more I could really say about that. Oh, shit. Well, I'm not getting the 2 minutes and 30 seconds now. Because that's the only way to pull it off. Well, unless you go really fast on this section. And for me, I am really freaking slow. Because I just can't seem to stop. I mean, I can't seem not to stop. If that makes any sense. Anyway. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm definitely not making that 230 now. Well, at least I'm not getting it at the moment. Because that would have pissed me off. And there we go. So I'm just going to hit a few, just like last time, but I'm going to get closer. That way I won't run into a cop car. There we go. And... Let's see if I can pull it off this time. Oh, well, so much for the shoes. I have gotten the extra life. So let's just do this. Well, at least I went with it and not against it, so... Anyway, I got 20 seconds to get to the end. Very likely I'm not going to make it, but... I could still get the 50 rings, because that's the goal here. That was fucking close. Holy shit, that was too close for my liking. Yeah, let's get the fuck away from the car. And... That's a win. Alright, so that's two down. One more mission to go. And... That's the A mission. And that one, like I said before, you have to do it in two minutes and thirty seconds. And this is probably the most difficult one, in my opinion, when you're trying to go for straight-up speed. Uh, there are shortcuts for the other ones. Red Mountain, for sure. Sky Deck, for sure. Uh, Lost World, definitely. And Final Egg, yes. But, uh... Speed Highway is just shortcuts that you have to do, or else you're screwed. I mean, well, just like Lost World as well, but... This is more, really, speed than anything else, really. And it's the least amount of time. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Because, like I said, if you crawl up in a ball like that, and you stay in a ball throughout the entire time, the chances of you getting flung off are very, very high. So, just time it right when you do it, and you won't get flung off. And I've gotten flung off twice now. Well... Numerous times off camera. I'm not saying this is a failed recording because it's not. There we go. Alright, so when I go fast, I have to hug the right after this section gets. There we go. Yeah, just hug a right if you're going with the speed boots because, uh, or speed shoes because you can get flung off on the left side. Anyway, here we go again. And. There we go. So far, so good.
Yeah, if you miss that speed section there, you're screwed. Anyway, here we go. Hopefully I can land on the thing without missing up. There we go. That was close. Anyway, I have two minutes, well, one minute to get there. Hopefully I'll get the uh, speed shoes this time around. Oh, well, so much for that. Oh, crap. Now I have to get this. Shit. Alright, so... Oh, shit. Okay, so far so good. And I should be okay at this point. As long as the cop car doesn't mess me up. There yeah, we good. We're definitely good. I didn't do as fast as the first time, but we're good. <laughs> That's a win. And I'll keep the score this time around. That way you know how many points you get. It's irrelevant here, but when you get to Sonic Adventure 2, there, that will be a more of a deal. But uh, yeah, so we got all the emblems in Speed Highway and Twinkle Park. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So you've been watching my gaming adventures and I'll see you in the next part where we will get the missions completed in Red Mountain and Sky Deck. So peace.